Hello guys, you are welcome to Zootech Academy. Right now, I'm going to teach you basic elements of graphic design. This is the practical training that is going to enhance your skills, that is going to help you to develop yourself in graphic designing. So this training is for beginners and also for intermediate learners. And if you are a professional already, there might be a need for you to take a look at it to see if there will be something vital also important to for you to learn in order to enhance your skills in graphic designing so come with me as we do this together thank you so right now i'm going to launch uh corridor all right so this is my corridor so the next thing to do now is to click on new document so when you click on new document then uh I set or you say okay, then a new window will open. In this case, I don't need to set up a page. I don't need to set up a page because what I want to design is just a little stuff on the page. So I'm not making, I'm not really making use of the page. So what I want to design right now is a Nigeria flag. So this training is basically for Nigerians and every any other neighboring countries that might be interested to know how we design Nigeria flag. I don't know how we design Nigeria flag. All right, let's go ahead as we continue. So as you can see, I'm going to click on the rectangle. So when you click on rectangle, choose your rectangle. Then you know this is my rectangle. Then once you choose your rectangle, convert to curve. As you convert to curve, choose your shape tool. Shape tool is so powerful. Anytime you have an object, I want and you want to shape the object to your taste or to whatever you do what you need to do is to convert the shape to up to object to curve so when you convert the shape to curve then you can now go ahead and shape it to your choice but right now i don't really need shape to to shape the object but i want to tell you i want to teach you the the the, the, the power behind the shape to how powerful is shape to so look at look at you can see right now we are having uh what is it called uh a rectangle on our page so i want to convert this rectangle to i want to convert this rectangle to letter m so how do i do that so the next thing you need to do is so first of all place a uh, node here node one node two node three so i'm using shape two to do that so i don't know if it's straight so let me adjust it all right so i'm trying to uh, figure out if this place and this place is is uh, uh equal if it's equal so the next thing to do is to is to bring the one at the middle down the next thing to do is to bring the one at the middle down so i'm bringing it to the center then i may have to adjust this then i may also have to adjust this so then another thing you need to do now is to place a node here three nodes node one node two and node three they do the same thing at this side, node 1, node 2, and node 3. So what you need to do, click on one of them and bring it up like this. So as you can see, then do the same thing here. So do, make sure you're having a straight hand. Make sure you're having a straight hand. Then let me check for this two. Am I having, am I really having a straight hand? All right. So now adjust this one. Then I'm adjusting it this way, then this I'm adjusting it this way, then bring this on down. So like this now you may need to also adjust it like this so that you can have equal sizes, then the same thing here like this, so that you can have equal sizes. So as you can see we have been able to convert that rectangle to letter M. So what I want to figure out here now is how you can convert a letter, how you can convert a, I mean, how you can convert a shape to some to a letter to letters or to something else. So that is exactly what is happening here. So now you can see we have been able to convert that uh, letter to that uh, shape to letter M. So this is it. So now, right now, we have letter help. We have letter help, but we what we what we use was a uh, a rectangle shape. So you can use any shape. You can use any other shape. 
and use it to form something else. So that is graphics, and this is the basic element of graphics. This is the beginning of graphics. That's why I said this course or this training is for beginners and also for intermediates. So as you can see, we have been able to uh, convert our rectangle to letter head. So we can also convert it to something else or something that you can use for logo. This is how you construct your logo, you construct your designs, and so on. All right, so now let's go ahead and design our pay our Nigeria flag. As, as I said, so I'm going to delete this. I don't need this. So the very first thing you need to do is to draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle. A vertical rectangle and very small like this. Then choose your shape too without converting to curve. Choose your shape too. Then adjust it this way. So now you can see you have a round corner here. And you also have a, a round corner here. So that is it. So another thing you need to do is to draw a rectangle beside it like this. So that rectangle now, what you need to do now is to convert it to curve. So when you convert it to curve, use your shape too. So when you do that, point this line and convert the line to curve. Then have it this way. Then have it this way. So point this one too. I mean this one, the right one on top. So convert it to convert it to curve. Then point it this way and then uh, point it this way so with that you have that shape we are looking for so with that you have the shape we are looking for so that is it so now let me bring it down a bit like it's too all right so i have it that way so now you need to divide it you need to divide it so how do you divide it you, you have to use your knife too so come to this place where you see Crop to icon, then choose your knife to. So when you get to the to the uh, when you choose your knife to, then point the edge of the shape. Make sure it's standing straight. When it's standing tall, when it's standing standing tall, that is when you can yeah, cut. That's when you'll be able to cut. So I want to make sure the line that is coming is very straight. All right, I think it's okay. Then do the same thing here. Then do the same thing here. It's not straight. All right. So I have that. So now give this color green and give this color gray. Then select it like this. Give it light color gray. As you can see, so in this case we have green, white, gray. So in this case we have what? Gray, white, gray. So select this. Also give it color gray. But in this case, I want to lose the color. So I do it. So come to fee color fee, come to fee, you know, in, in interactive fee too, or or you come to a uh, smart fee too. But it said you can just double click here on the status bar, double click. So when you double click, it will take you to a, a fee to feed fee dialog box. So in the fee dialog box, I can choose 14. So choosing 14. Then I'm going to make it gray and white, which is already set. Then click on OK. You can see. So in that case, it's having black line. So right click to remove the black line. So why is this selected? Right click on the color box. So you have to right click on the color box to remove the white line. So we have the color box here. So do you know the color palette box? So the color palette box, that is what you do. You right click. It's either you choose it here or you choose it here. So that is it. So with that, we have this. So the next thing you need to do now is to draw a, a small circle. Draw a small circle. Now this mouse, this object is jumping. Why is it jumping? It's because of my edge, because of my edge too. So we call it smart object or object too. So in that case, I have to go and remove it. So how do I remove it? Come to a view, on that view menu, click on snap. Then click on, uh, I'll mark the snap to object. <coughs> Are you learning? So I, I guess you are following me. So I said what? You click on the V menu, then click on the snap to, then I'll mark the object. So when you do that, your it will not be jumping anymore. So you can draw flexibly in this case now. So I only need that small ellipse here, it's that small circle here. So I think I have it. I think I have it now. 
so I'll make it at center so give it color black oh sorry I only want to make this I only want to make this uh, circle color black so I have it that way so in that case select them all and group it so group so you can now start making the base in this case now you have done uh you have achieved your aim in drawing the uh, Nigeria flag but what if you feel like you want to uh, advance it so you can what rotate it so i'm selecting it now i want to advance it i will select everything together then i will group it it's already grouped then i will rotate it so in rotating it then i will duplicate it then you know how to duplicate of course so you choose the uh, um uh control d to duplicate or plus side to duplicate so now, now next mirror it so i mirror it upside down so i mirror it the other way around so i'm reducing the size so in this case now i can say nigeria at uh, 62 or 63 so now let me say nigeria then at then 63 so like uh, our independence so with this let me unbody it then let me make it i want to make it area black so i'm just clicking on area then from there i see the category of area black then i choose area black so now they are together how do i separate them you can either come to objects and say break artistic uh, uh test apart or you press ctrl k to break it apart so with this i will do i will reduce it randomly then i'll bring it down here so i still want you to enter that place very well all right i'm okay with this i'm okay with this then i bring the art down here then i i bring the sensitivity down here so let me reduce the sensitivity a bit so i have it this way so with this now i have designed my stuff so let me group it i select everything by clicking and dragging over then i say ctrl g now f4 to see then f9 to see it clearly all right so now that is it and that is the end of the class hello guys i hope you enjoyed this class so this is just the basic elements it's just the, the beginning or the basic of graphic designing so if you can use the tools we use here which is shape tool and and uh, any other uh, uh, command like convert to object or uh, like convert to all shape and every other thing we use here if you can use them very well definitely you will be able to design anything designable so you'll be able to construct and you'll be able to shape and reshape so that is the beginning of graphics and that is exactly what you need to learn learn how to shape objects learn how to use the shape tool the shape tool is so powerful to the same that you can use it to convert objects to anything 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 and from there you can be enhanced to create professional logos so you are welcome follow me in the next class thank you